Hello everybody, this is Squibby, and welcome to my Star Wars Battlefront Blaster Ranking. Today, I will be ranking every blaster in Battlefront according to their classes. I will be reviewing them in the categories of targeting rifles, heavy blasters, blaster pistols, and finally blaster rifles. Seeing as these categories are all useful in different scenarios, ranking all of the game's blasters in one giant list would give some weapons an unfair placement above others. Starting with targeting rifles, we have the DLT-19X. Although it is an incredibly powerful sniper capable of cross-map snipes and close-range instant kills, this rifle only allows one shot before completely overheating, making the player vulnerable while the weapon cools down. Used by the hero Bosk, the Relby V10 is capable of firing as fast as the player can shoot, making it incredibly useful in close and medium range. However, the damage output of this rifle is greatly reduced in long range, making it more versatile in close quarter combat. The T21B is a high damage sniper capable of shredding opponents with headshots at any range and severely damaging them at close range. This weapon is deemed the best targeting rifle in Battlefront for its consistent accuracy, high damage, and excellent versatility in both long range and close range situations. And now we move on to heavy blasters. For obvious reasons, the CA-87 Shock Blaster is ranked as the worst heavy blaster due to its incredibly limited range and damage output, despite being lethal in short-range combat. The RT-97C is practically a downgraded version of the DLT-19, as it has less damage output, less accuracy, and less range. However, it is still incredibly powerful in close and medium range. Used by the hero Dengar and Director Krennic's Death Troopers, the DLT-19 Heavy Blaster delivers massive amounts of damage in close and medium range, and can even be tap-fired at long range to continuously damage an opponent, making it a very reliable Heavy Blaster. The T-21 is the fully automated Heavy Blaster version of the T-21B Sniper, and is used by Emperor Palpatine's Honor Guards, and it is capable of instant killing troopers and delivering heavy damage in all ranges. And finally, the best heavy blaster in Battlefront is the TL-50 Heavy Repeater. This extremely accurate blaster is capable of melting enemies in all ranges, and has a special secondary fire capable of damaging vehicles, turrets, and even soldiers. This weapon is also famous for the TL-50 glitch, where every shot of this weapon fires behaves like a secondary fire shot, and this glitch is capable of utterly shredding heroes in a matter of seconds. Although the K-16 Briar Pistol is ranked as the worst pistol in Battlefront, it is not the most underpowered weapon in the game, as its secondary fire charge can instantly kill troopers and heavily damage heroes. As upsetting as it is to rank my favorite blaster in Battlefront as the second worst pistol in the game, the X-8 Night Sniper used by the hero Lando Calrissian has inconsistent accuracy, making it a difficult weapon to master. Its night vision scope can only prove to be so helpful compared to the unique accuracy this pistol holds. Used by the hero Greedo, the DT-12 is a high damage and high accuracy pistol that packs quite a punch relative to its size. It is capable of hitting consistent headshots and delivers insane damage at any range. Used by the hero Han Solo, the DL-44 can shred opponents at close to medium range, and is famous for its ability to melt waves of enemies in survival missions and battles. Used by the hero Jin Erso, the A-180 is a unique pistol that was nerfed for the hero as it fires slower than normal and with less accuracy. However, the trooper's version of this weapon is capable of slaughtering enemies at any range by using the sniper mode, rifle mode, and ion mode of this pistol.
As seen in the film Rogue One, the SE-14C was originally designed to fire just like the other pistols in this game. However, in Battlefront, this weapon has a special 5-shot burst capable of killing an opponent in just one burst, but only in close and medium range. Used by the hero Director Krennic, the DT-29 is a special pistol that behaves like a revolver, and it must be manually reloaded after firing 6 shots. However, these bullets still do high damage at practically any range with incredible accuracy. The DL-18 is an interesting pistol, capable of firing incredibly quickly and providing consistent accuracy, damage, and even headshots, making it a very reliable weapon in close and medium range. Used by Princess Leia's honor guards and the hero Nyanum, the DH-17 pistol was also originally designed to fire manually. However, in Battlefront, it is the only fully automatic pistol in the game, capable of melting enemies and delivering consistent headshots in close and medium range. These qualities make the DH-17 the best blaster pistol in all of Battlefront. Although it is ranked as the worst blaster rifle in Battlefront, the CJ-9 bow rifle packs a real punch with its lethal melee attacks, incredible range, and consistent damage and accuracy. Used as the standard Rebel blaster, the A-280C delivers consistent damage at any range and is the second most powerful standard blaster in Battlefront. Used by the hero Princess Leia, the E-11 is also the standard Imperial Blaster in Battlefront, and although it has a slower fire rate than the A-280C, it has more range and is incredibly accurate if the weapon is tap-fired. Used by the hero Boba Fett, the E-E-3 is a special rifle that uses a 3-shot burst to accurately damage opponents, and can even be spammed by players with good bursts. Finally, at the end of our blaster ranking, we have the most powerful and useful blaster in all of Battlefront, the EE-4. Despite the controversy of ranking at number 1, this blaster is simply too overpowered to rank it any lower. With its high damage, consistent burst accuracy, and ability to spam the weapon as fast as possible, the EE-4 has outranked every single blaster in Battlefront by a massive margin. I can't imagine a more convincing victory. Thank you all for watching the Star Wars Battlefront blaster ranking. I hope to see you in the next video or stream. We'll